Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the clutch master cylinder. Um, if your clutch master cylinder is going bad, usually you'll feel that your clutch is uh, not disengaging. You'll hear some grinding of the gears, or you'll have to press it way down to the floor in order to get the clutch to disengage. Um, we're doing this on a 2005 Hyundai Elantra. Well, the procedure is pretty similar for just about any vehicle. Um, and the tools you'll need for this vehicle are pliers, 10 and 12 millimeter sockets with a ratchet extension, an 11 millimeter tube wrench, although we do show you that uh, as long as you don't run into any obstacles, you can get it done with a regular 11 millimeter wrench, um, but the 11 millimeter tube wrench is the ideal, um, it's the ideal tool. You'll need some rags, DOT3 brake fluid, and a helper um, to help you uh, bleed the system afterwards. So if you find that your clutch pedal goes to the floor and your uh, clutch engagement is a little off, first you want to check your fluid in your clutch master cylinder. Uh, and there's a max and min line. You're going to want to make sure that it's within those ranges. Uh, secondly is, is a possibility that your clutch master could be going. I'm going to remove the pin that holds the plunger from the clutch master cylinder from the clutch pedal itself. And I've got my needle nose pliers on the end of the clip that I'm going to pull off. And there's a washer as well that you'll want to pull off. And slide your master cylinder connecting rod off the post. I've located the fitting that we're going to need to remove that carries the brake fluid from the master cylinder to the slave and using an 11 millimeter wrench I'm going to remove it. And I've got a rag underneath to catch the brake fluid. And we're just going to speed it up here as we uh, take that fitting apart. Um, and in just a minute, we'll have a little bit more on the tool we used and the proper tool for the job. So we've got the regular wrench, 11 millimeter, and then we've got one specifically made for brake pipe fittings. Um, as your vehicle gets older, you might find uh, heavier resistance, in which case it'd be better to use this because rounding off any of those fittings uh, would just cause uh, more repair necessary. So we were able to break it free just with a regular wrench, but if you do find heavy resistance um, with the fastener uh, and that you might start to round the edges off, it would be best to invest in a set of these. I got my new master cylinder, clutch master cylinder from 1A Auto, and um, you can see that on the top there'll be a stud coming through the firewall with a nut on it right here, and one that's tougher to see uh, is right below it. And I'm going to use a 12 millimeter wrench with an extension and remove those nuts. And we'll speed it up here again so you can see uh, the top nut's pretty easy to get to. The bottom one you have to kind of reach down and under. It's not difficult to get to, a little bit difficult to see sometimes though. Locate the 10 millimeter bolt that holds your reservoir clamp and remove. Open up the clamp, pull your reservoir aside, and then pull your tire linkage out. The new part from 1A Auto does not include the pipe and the reservoir, so we need to swap it over from the original. Um, and before we do that, we can just put them side to side and make sure that the length from the um, flange to the center of where the connecting rod uh, meets the linkage on the pedal is the same, and in this case they are. So we'll just go ahead, use a pair of pliers, 
swap over. Uh, and if you found that that distance was a little bit different, um, there's just a little locking nut that you can loosen and then turn the um, turn the bushing that connects to the pedal either clockwise or counterclockwise to either lengthen it or shorten it until it matches your original. I'm filling the master cylinder with brake fluid, dot three. Keep topping it up and most likely you'll see some fluid starting to come out. And just to ease or to speed up the process and make bleeding at the uh, once it's back in the car faster, you can do what's called bench bleed. Just gently apply pressure. Squeezing out some fluid. And making sure that your reservoir stays full. So now I got my finger over the hole for the brake fluid and I'm just going to line it up on the studs. and try to re-secure that fitting as quickly as possible. Okay, so the first step is you get it in, get it mounted on the studs, and, uh, and I'm, I know I'm just repeating Dawn here, but um, take the line that goes uh, to the slave cylinder and just get it threaded back in and get that tightened up first. Installing the nuts. The master cylinder. And again, here we'll speed it up. Uh, first, Don threads the nuts on to the studs and then tightens them up nice and firm uh, with the 12 millimeter socket ratchet and extension. I'm reinstalling the bolt with the reservoir. And I've got the master cylinder linkage here, and I'm pressing it onto the clutch pedal. And then I'm reinstalling the washer. And finally, a pin. So here's the pin, and the pin's going to slide in through the hole on this stud on the clutch pedal. And it's going to, you can put it in here, and then this will clip, clip it in. Um, but the it's too tight to get the camera in there. I'm going to bleed the system now, and I've located my clutch slave cylinder, which sits right on top of the transmission, and the bleeder screw right here. And I'm removing the plastic cap on the end of the bleeder screw. Got a homemade um, brake fluid uh, catcher here that we've got a little hose and a little. Um, bottle here so that the spent brake fluid will go in it and not into the car and I'm gonna go ahead and put that hose on the end of the bleeder and I'm gonna have my 10 millimeter wrench ready on the nut and with Michael in the car um, he's gonna give it several pumps of the clutch pedal and then he's gonna hold it down and then I'm going to say ready I'm gonna crack the bleeder Leave it open for a couple seconds. Close it tight. Mike, go ahead and pump again. And he's, I'm going to say hold. Crack the bleeder again. Tighten it up. All right, pump. And hold. Crack the bleeder. Close and do it uh, maybe two more times. Pump. And 
And I'm also going to make sure at the same time that I've got brake fluid in the reservoir and this is a good time to fill it back up. And Michael's pumped and holding. Crack the bleeder. Tighten back up. Hold. And let's do it one more time. Hold and crack. Close up the bleeder. And pump. And you should feel stiffness in the clutch pedal. Yep. All right. Good. Sounds good. We're pumped. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.